hello guys welcome back to my channel serious gamer um so today we want to we want to talk about something very very important so it's about how you handle font in this game soccer manager 2023 um so we're here again um today we'll be talking about especially how to manage player wages so it's part of your funds if you are not able to manage your player wages well then um i think you'll be running the club down now this is just like manchester sorry um chelsea in this game after i left a lot of money for them i think they've been they've been mismanaging it now look at the last three signings here um those are big signings okay even though they are big players anyway but i i don't think i ever signed anybody for this amount since i started the game even when i had i made all the money for their club let me check how much they are paying these guys this is 340 this is another 340 and this is 180 i think um, um they don't i don't they don't they're they not supposed to have up to 70 percent of the money i left for them by now now look at my own players 140 here and this is another 100 and these are the people that are performing for me this season okay so how do you manage to do this okay um one truth is that it's not easy normally to pay player um, lower wages if they feel that they are bigger than the club that's why um, I don't keep players that are bigger than my club for long. But if you were to have, um, if you were to be managing a big club, then the one thing you should do is um, to improve in your manager. Okay, I'll, I would like to show you this. In your manager skills, um, you should be able to yeah improve your traits, one of your traits or your attributes. Then, yeah, these are them. Um, you have to improve um yeah your wage negotiate or this one i have all of them improved already so i can't i can't start afresh so this is you have to improve it your wage negotiator and um, that's one thing you have to improve and also um about transfer will be short negotiated too so it can help especially when you are signing players who are uh, free agents yeah so after that then the players will um should i say be more agreeable to you and also it's not that easy to um to pay younger players who are increasing rapidly lower wages because yeah the more they go let's say if they go like three um ratings high they ask for a new wage so the best thing you have to do at that point is tell them in the next 12 months i will talk with you and if you understand then because there's an option of for anybody that wants a player in um, a wage increase I don't have anybody complaining at the moment i should have used that so um anybody that has a wage um issue you tell them i will pay i will talk with you in the next 12 months then within that 12 months since he's a player that is in, improving he should have, he should have added um two to three extra ratings then you will not have to pay the extra one that you have to add again after that um three extra ratings because normally if you give him that contract by then then before that next 12 months he comes back again because his rating is higher at that time and he thinks yes i have to be paid more at that time so see if you do it in the next 12 months then it reduces um the chances of what you should have been paying him let's check for yeah the contracts who is my highest speed my highest speed my highest speed okay this j maguire yeah i think he's my highest paid player and why it is so is because i have to lure players to this club by any means why because this is they consider it a small team and that's why most of them are not even happy playing, playing for the club i'm sending them soon anyway so when you are um, managing a small club so it's either you go for smaller players and you can manipulate them how you want but if you want the big fish then you don't really have um rights over their um wages because that's one of the things you are going to use to tie them down if not they will, they will start pending requests that they want to pay for bigger teams so this um this trick more or less is um workable mostly on big people managing big teams so you use it to keep the players down and also um, when players get older you can easily offer them contracts even when they are not asking for because by that time the contracts um the amount they ask for will reduce the amount they ask for will reduce so you just that's an idea of how you reduce the wages even without them asking for um an extra year or should i say um, S um longer and wages so this is how you um, manage player wages and um, for your club to go forward 
if not these people are ready to run you down and then leave your team telling you they want to play for other teams so that will be all for today um like the video drop any comment you have in the comment section um subscribe if you haven't done so i'll see you guys in my next video thanks